Hello, and welcome to Sunday School today. We're about to do our candle lighting, so if you have a candle at home, now is the time to go get it. Our candle lighting today is going to be a little bit different than it normally is. Normally we light one candle, but today I have many candles. As you can see, we have six candles around one candle in the middle. And these candles are purple. Does anybody know why these candles are purple? That's right. They're purple because we're in a season called Lent. And Lent is a time of preparation. It's six weeks long. That's why we have six purple candles. And the purple represents the church calendar color. And we're in a purple time of year. So that's a very holy time, a very special time in the church calendar. And we light one of these candles um, every week that we have Lent, or like we do in our church, we're putting out one candle a week. So today we're going to light all the candles but one because we're in, going into the second week of Lent. Let's light our candles. We light these candles to remind us that we are in a journey and during Lent we journey and think of things that we can do so that we could s draw closer to God. And we light our rainbow candle. Remember this uh, week and next week we're still in looking at the life of Noah and the story of Noah. And you remember the story of Noah had a rainbow at the end, didn't it? And what did that rainbow represent? That's right, it represented God's promise. And so we write, light this rainbow candle to remind us of God's promise to us. And not only that, but the rainbow represents that God's promises are available to everybody. And let us open our Sunday School time with a prayer. Dear Jesus, please help us to be kind, patient, and helpful to each other during Lent. Please help us to follow the directions that our parents and teachers and coaches give us the first time we are asked. Please bless my mom and dad, my aunts and uncles, my grandparents, my friends and family and teachers. Be with us now in our Sunday School lesson, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Enjoy your Sunday school lesson. Hi, my name is Elias, and I'm here to share with you the story of Noah's Ark. A long time passed since God created the world. People forgot about God, except for one man. His name was Noah. He loved and obeyed God. I'm very sad that people have forgotten about me, God said to Noah. I'm going to bring rain to flood the earth. Lots and lots of rain. Build yourself a huge boat of cypress wood. Noah did just what God said, and made a big, big boat with lots of rooms. Noah was 600 years old when he entered the boat with his wife, their sons, and their sons' wives. God brought two of every kind of animal to the boat. Elephants and zebras, lions and tigers, pigs and giraffes, dogs and cats, deers and rhinos, bears and cows, horses and goats, lambs and monkeys, all came two by two. All different kinds of animals, birds and creepy crawly things came to the boat. Noah took them all into the boat, then the door shut behind them. Inside the big boat, the lions roared, the dogs barked, and the birds chirped. It was stuffy and stinky, it was muggy and hot. On the outside, it rained and rained. It rained big giant drops and little baby drops for 40 days and 40 nights. The rains came down and the flood waters came up. The water splashed on the sides of the big boat and pushed it up and down for 150 days. Finally, it rested on the top of a tall mountain. Noah waited and waited until God said to him, Come out of the boat, you and your wife and your sons and their wives. Noah's family and all of the animals came off of the boat. They put their feet on dry land. They ran and skipped and jumped. They twirled and danced in the sunlight. They thanked God for the land, and God blessed them. Noah's family grew and grew. 
The animals and the birds and the creepy crawly things filled the earth again. God painted a rainbow, brilliant red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet across the sky and promised, never again will water flood the earth. Whenever you see a rainbow in the clouds, I will see it too, and I will remember. Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. Our activity today is going to be to make a rainbow, just like the rainbow that was in the story of Noah. So for this activity, we are going to use a half of a paper plate, some colored construction paper, or you could use long sheets of tissue paper, and some cotton balls or some cotton batting if you have it, and some glue and tape and a pair of scissors. So the colors of paper that I used, maybe you know this song, red, yellow, pink, green, purple, orange, and blue. There's a song that goes with this, red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can make a rainbow, make a rainbow, make a rainbow too. So those are the colors I used. Maybe you can sing that song as you make this craft. So if you have your half a plate ready, maybe you want some, get some help from an adult to cut your, cut your half a plate. Then you're going to take your strips. Once you have them cut out, it doesn't matter how long they are. They can be all the same length, or maybe you want to cut them different lengths. And then you want to just start, you might want to tape them on or glue them on. I don't know, might be easier to tape them on. You could tape them on to the back of your paper plate like this, where no one will see them. Or you could tape them onto the front and then cover, cover that with your cotton, if you like. So red and yellow, pink. You don't have to go in this order. You can go whatever color you order you want your rainbow after all. Red and yellow. That's the order I'm going to I'm going to do. Red and yellow, pink and blue. Red and yellow and pink and blue. Purple and orange and green. I can make a rainbow, make a rainbow, make a rainbow too. One more. I have one more to do. Green is the last one on my rainbow, but like I said, you can make your rainbow how, at what, in whatever colors you want. It's just important to have a variety of different colors because when you see a rainbow in the sky, you'll see that there's lots of different colors. All right, there, there's all my colors of my rainbow. Now I'm just going to add a bunch of glue using my glue stick, or if you have runny glue, that's okay, to the front of my pie plate a whole bunch of glue to the front of my pie plate. And then stick my cotton right on there. See how it sticks? And it makes it look like clouds, doesn't it? Now, if you want to get fancy, you could add a sun to the top of your cloud if you want.
there. There's my cloud with my beautiful rainbow. Because we need a rainbow. To make a rainbow, we need water, we need rain, and we need sun, don't we? So maybe it would be a good idea to add a little sunshine to our cloud. Sorry, my sunshine paper, my yellow paper disappeared. So you could just cut out a big old sunshine, a big circle from your yellow paper. And you could glue that or tape that onto the back of your to the back of your paper plate as well. And then that will remind you of God's look. There we go. Then we remember that to make a beautiful rainbow, we need sunshine, we need rain to get all these beautiful colors of the rainbow. And you can make your sun with beautiful little rays of sunlight if you like just however you want. Thanks friends for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Bye now. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine. Said.